going everybody? This is John Bain. I want to welcome you to Satisfactory. Hope you guys are doing pretty good today. I'm doing great. Uh, don't forget to mind you guys hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be here when things are happening. And also, if you guys are interested in picking up the game, want to give me a little bit of support, I have a link down below to the Epic Game Store. That is my affiliate link that lets you and help me out if you want to get the game. <laughs> Anyhow, we're back and we've been working a lot on this build just to get things up. And there's so many things to do left in this game. Um, I am happy that we've got things done, though. It makes me it makes me feel good that like we've got some progress done. And it's funny because I feel progression happen even without doing progression through a lot of uh, research and stuff like that. But today we're going to change that up a little bit. First thing we're going to do is test out the well, well, actually, let's I have something on my milestones. Before we do that, I want to go ahead and unlock the rest of the lower tiers of stuff we've got. So uh, one of the things is the current milestone here. Um... So power shards okay so that's pretty easy we need just wire okay that's pretty easy rods and, and that so we should have some wire left i've been doing some crafting on my own off camera just to get things right for us to do things with so let's do this and let's go over here and let's get you in you and you in and go yes let's go into the sky the sky very nice a player has been upgraded too. Nice, we got more slots. I think. And by the look, no, no, we didn't. That's not slots one. That was a different one. Let's go here. Let's go right there. Yeah, no, not slots. Okay, so the next one is the rebar gun, which will take us some rotors and some uh, reinforced plates, which I have made rotors off camera. We still have a hundred left over here from from previous works, and we have reinforced plates, which I've worked on that off camera. So that's good. And also what I've done off camera is go ahead and do some more steel. Uh, I actually made um, a crap load. I don't have a steel factory. Someone, someone had commented about the steel factory. Uh, I am the steel factory. I was trying to get uh, the steel beams up so we could do the upgraded conveyors for the feeding of the elevator. And then also, um, and I made a bunch more so I could make these guys here. Where are they at? Where are they at? Where are they at? Right there. I passed them right there. The motors. And I've got 100 motors made. There's, there's 98 shown there. And there's two on the belt. So there you have it. Um, and then I have some extra stat horrors left too. So we I did a lot of work. I did a lot of work. Got some things right. Hopefully it'll it'll work out right. And um, yeah, we're going to do that. So let's do this. Let's grab some stuff and get started. Shall we? Shall we? Will we? Can we? Let's grab this. I'm going to go ahead and grab a couple more ingots here. Like, literally a couple more ingots. <laughs> Let's grab two stacks of those. It's stacks. Get two stacks of those guys right there. Wow, the crazy guys. And um, let's do the steel beam. That still might not be enough. It probably isn't. Mm, I don't want to waste all my ingots on beams just yet. Might just grab some reinforced plates and use that for my initial feed. What we're going to do is we're going to test our space elevator feed system by feeding in the mats necessary to do the next big unlock so we can see the tier 5 and 6 stuff. We're not necessarily going to go unlock it all because I'm enjoying the pacing we're doing right now. You coming back already? You see it? Yeah, hey! Welcome back! And we're back. And up here, let us check out the loveliness of the elevator. I think we need 150 motors and 500 modular frames. Yes, but so for some reason we already have 50 motors. I'm not mad at that. Now we could just as easily make it and bring it up here and load it up. I, I just want to, we put all this work into making our conveyor system to go into the thing. I really just want to get this in there and, and see how it looks. Uh, we also need, uh, we need to use a couple more plates, I think. I'll use up the plates over here. Like that many, maybe. And a couple of the bars. And we need some concrete. Concrete. There we go. There we go. You were hiding from me. I thought you were hiding from me, man. Don't hide from me like that. Let's get in our lovely truck. Ugh, I'm out of gas. I parked you, though. You shouldn't be out of gas. What is your major malfunction? Why do you continue to use energy just sitting there? It's not, not the optimal, not, not the optimal at all. I'll grab this many. This, this should get us stuck really nice somewhere. Uh, let's get you here. Let's pop this in by pressing that. Let's get on you now. Back it up. Near. Back it up some more. Let's unback it up. Going forward. 
So what I want to do is we'll go ahead and see how this all feeds in and how it looks. Stop. Stop. Thank you. It looks like our concrete's full now. Hey, squiggly! Um, our concrete's full now, so let's go ahead and do this, though, regardless of the concrete problem issues. I'm going to put one down, and then can I do a splitter right now? I can. Okay, okay. Let's do it like this. Let's get this guy right here. And I just want to see how she's going to look. Oh, I need cables. Hmm. Uh, let me do this then. I'm going to go ahead and make another one of these. And I'm going to, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to handcraft a bunch of modular frames too, just so we can see the beautifulness of stuff and see how the animations also look whenever we do the upgrade in the station. So hey, give me a little bit here. I'm going to get that together. We'll come right back. You guys. Well, already. Hold on. Okay, welcome back. I uh, crafted a crap load. <laughs> Not even funny of modular frames. I did an extra 100 on top of that. That took a long time to do. But now it's time to do our testing. Again, this is, again, for testing purposes. So um, this is why we're testing. I'm going to do something that I don't normally do is I'll make some floaty time stuff. I just prefer to have stuff nicely connected in things. But it is what it is. So we need to connect this to our central one right now. I'm gonna throw a splitter on you pop you over here to this one very easy this is how see, could, this game could be a lot faster for me if i was willing to concede to this but i am not I, i'm sorry it's gotta look good it's gotta look good it's gotta be functional all right so we have those cooked hooked up cooked up yeah we got them cooked up this one do i already have no i don't okay cool let's we'll just throw some guys into you right here and this guy come whoop, right to there okay cool now I gotta be able to get up there. So let's try this out. Let's go up here. Come on. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, and five. And then go over here. Let's throw in the mo this right here, and let's go run. Hurry up, run. Hurry up, run. Go, 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 go. I want to see this. Uh, we have to go up top. Run, 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 run. Go, 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 go faster, faster. Who made, who built this place, man? It could be a lot more. It could be a lot more clean, quicker, quicker to get places. But would it be as fun? Yes. No. All right, let's go over here. I want to see what our workshop looks like when stuff's running through. This ought to be pretty cool, I think. Do we beat it? Is there something not connected? Nope, there it comes. There's the motors. Motors are, oh, that is so neat. Motors are in. All right, so we should see the modular frames. There's the modular frames. Look at that. That's so cool. Oh my God. That's nifty. I like that a lot. You know, it'd be in pretty, pretty cool if we actually end up putting storage on the sides and had loops. So the storage was just constantly running with different mats going. That'd be pretty nifty. I'd be down with that too. Maybe put one of every single item type inside each of the storages. And so when they loop, they all have different things on, the, on there. And that'd be pretty cool. Neat. Time to make our way up to the space elevator. I don't know. I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty excited. That was pretty cool to see that. Now it's time to see how well this is accepting stuff. Let's go here. Look at that. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, it makes me happy. It makes me happy. Let's run over here. There it goes. That is so nice. Uh, we need you to be different conveyors. Sorry. Forgot to upgrade those. I might not have enough. I don't. Crap. That means they get slowed up at a spot, which isn't cool. It is what it is, though. It is what it is. So this will load up. We'll be able to do the next phase. Oh, I didn't, I've never gotten up this high. Oh, there, there's the collider right there. We'll be able to do the next phase of tiers of five and six. Yeah, I'm not really worried about uh, like rushing and getting all the tier stuff done, but we, I, we put all this work into setting this up. I wanted to actually see, you know, how well it loads up, how it goes through, how if our systems in, it wouldn't ch whoop, in check. Looks like it's done with the motors on this end. 
do we have something hung up somewhere? Um, hmm. There was 50 already in here. We pushed in all we had. At least I thought I grabbed all I had. Let me double check. God, if I have to make some more, then that's how it goes. But no, there's no more here. Did something happen? This is not acceptable. We had 50 in there. We had to put 100 in a box. We have 132 now or whatever. That's kind of... Let's get down there. Thank you. That's kind of not cool, man. Oh, it emptied. Maybe I didn't put it. Maybe I thought I had more than I had and I didn't. Okay. Well, let me wait for this thing to load up. I'll throw in a couple more motors and we will be back to see if there's any new animations with the space elevator. You guys, you know the deal. Okay, welcome back. And it looks like something is going kind of crazy. Uh, a 492 modular frames versus the 500. Um, there's something going on. I don't know. Is something getting lost in a splitter? Am I, but did I not put in the right amounts? No, I feel like I put in the right amounts. I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm glad I made some extra modular frames. Maybe, maybe I didn't. Maybe I was looking at it. I don't have my special contacts and I wear special contacts that are, that I like to take a break from every now and again. Today's one of those days. So maybe I should have done that. All right, there we go. Let's load. See, uh, ah. okay. Oh, slam it in there, big boy. Slam it in there. Good job. And let us send this thing off now. Oh, look at that. It like tightens up on it. Oh, that is so cool, man. Hope they're happy with the production we sent them because that, that won't cheat, man. That won't cheat. That was a lot of time, guys. I've spent about an hour, two hours just getting this far with stuff. So, but it's worth it. It's worth it because we just now did that and it sh we've unlocked our next tier of unlockables. Next two tiers, actually, it should be. Yes, tier five and six is now available. We have oil processing open to us that allows us to do multiple beautiful things. Oil pump, oil refinery, plastic, fuel, rubber, circuit board, scanner update, and crude oil. And oops, 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 oops. And then we have industrial manufacturing for the manufacturer. Looks like it has four inputs to make things. Uh, we have trucks. We have computers over in tier six. Expanded power infrastructure. So there's a fuel generator. Consumes fuel to generate electricity for your power grid. Has an input so feeding fuel can be automated. Uh, there's a level four MK4 uh, belt, which does 450 resources per minute, which is something very nice. Uh, we have a jet pack here, five inventory slots, plus the jet pack. Very nice. I like that. It takes computers. That one takes computers too. And then we have gas masks, which, uh, well, let's go through the stink clouds, I'm pretty sure. That's really nifty. What have I have in? Oh, it was just, just clicked on it. Okay. So I have rebar guns to do next. What we're doing now is going to be pushing some more, uh, a little bit of the lower end tech so we can go adventuring next episode because I want to start getting power slugs so we can start actually doing some higher end efficiency, manufacturing, all that stuff. You know, I don't want to bore you with like just building the entire time. I want to do some stuff too. I don't want to, I want, I want to get into the, the nitty gritty of the funness. Sort that out. That's good. Um, I'm going to grab. Well, let's see what we can do for the next one. Let's get that one. I'm not even bother. I should just look at that first. Uh, next guy is tier three with a rebar gun. So like milestone. Uh, let's put this in there. Let's put the these guys in there. And these are rotors. I have rotors for you. I have rotors. Thank God I made some of those. Let's pull out uh, 25. There we go. And then we just need to grab some more wire, which I think I have some in this box here. I do. Good job, John. Good job. You're prepared. All right, let's get over here. Let's put these guys in. And press the button. Rebar gun. There it goes. Have a nice day. Drive safe. Well, she hasn't talked to us at all, man. Have fun. Drive safe. 
All right, so we have now unlocked everything through tier zero through tier three. Wait, tier one is showing some. Oh, oh, I didn't even see these on the side. Oh my God. Okay. Well, if we want to find bacon and nuts, then um, <laughs> there we go. I was wondering why I was highlighted. Okay, in tier four, we still have improved melee combat that needs to be done. We have cables. There's only 10 modular frames and 25 rotors too. We'll be able to do that. But before we, uh, well, I guess while we wait for that to go and come back, um, I want to go over and get some catenium. Yeah, I said it like that. Because uh, I want to do some research on that and get that done. We did this on the stream uh, a couple days ago, and it's something that I feel like will help us when we start working on our infrastructure. And I, I want to go ahead and have that available well to us for our infrastructure. Infrastructure. Why do I say it like that? Because that's how I talk sometimes. Okay. Um, anyway, let's load this stuff in here. Let's get that. There we go. And now I'm going to go and go run over here. We're going to grab a, a stack of gas. And we'll check our items because I might need to bring you with me. And you know what? I'm just, For now, I'm going to grab this and have them sitting on top of them since I've got extra ones of these guys. And it's already... It, I think there's a bug or something that it continues to run or something. Like, I, do I have to just break this guy down or something? Every time I don't want to use up my gas? I mean, how much sense does that make? Ooh, I might need some concrete. I just thought about that. We might need concrete to be able to access, access the areas that we want to get to. Uh, let's grab you and just do to 400 of it that sounds like a plan that sounds like a good good solid plan now there's some kinderneum over there that's not that hard to get to it's a nice little deposit so that's why we bring the miners let's run down here go down this way let's go do the and again guys i don't want to seem like we're not didn't do much not well not doing much this episode but like i've said i put two hours into like hand making the modules and stuff i really didn't want to invest in making factory infrastructure just yet um and because uh, i want to do specific builds for everything so i figured that this was a good way to you know do it I and mean, it's taking up a lot of time and there's a lot of effort and fried mm -hmm. okay let's go we gotta go. oh hello how are you snuffle wumps do I see berries? I see berries and nuts. Excuse me, sir. There's some berries. There's some nuts. Here's something bad. That didn't do anything. I thought it would knock those guys out. Like this guy here. There's some bacon right there. Nope, it just runs right through. Okay. Well then. So much for that fun. Um, I'm better off doing the loop, I think. Let's go back and do this. There's a loop through here. So let's do that. Let's go this way. We're going to skip the bacon right now. We'll worry about... Oh, well, don't hit the nuts. And we grab all those mats later. I want to go over here, though, to the actual deposit itself. There's still a lot of enemies around. Let's do the jump. Yeehaw! All right, there we go. And right over here. Is the place I speak of. Let's go ahead and put on our, this guy. Uh, I have foundations ready to go. Let's do this. There we go. Let's put the ramps up. You ready to fight the fairies, the, the fire fairies. Bring it, bring it, fire fairy. Oh my God, no, no, no. no. What, did, oh God, you're not. You're, you're just rolled or something. Well, I'm dead. Oh my god! Go, 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 go,
<laughs> Can I run over you? Yes, but it doesn't really do anything. Uh, I forgot about that. I forgot I didn't have any help. Well, I should just be able to run up here now without them attacking me because we should be far enough away before we aggro, right? There we go. Yeah, they're hanging out down there now. That's fine. You can hang out down there. I'm not, not, I don't hate you guys. I know you're just trying to do the thing that you're used to doing. God, I feel like why I should be putting down a full system for this and stuff like that. But, you know, again, we're just trying to get the mats together for this because this, this does some nice unlocks for us on the research scale of things. And yeah, so I'm going to sit here, hold E for a little while, get a few hundred of this, this ore and let these guys do their job too. And then we'll head back over and do the research on this and check it out. So you guys hold on. Okay. Welcome back. This took a little while to do. It's 15 minutes for this, and I had to do some other stuff, and I prepped up for stuff. We do have a new quick technologies wire. technologies have been developed based on this new element, primarily in power and electronics, and can now be accessed in Hub Tier 3. We also have quick wire unlocked now, which will take 100 quick wire to do the research unlock. Whoa, 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 turn, oh, right there, okay. Um, but let's go ahead and go here, because I went ahead and grabbed the mats for it. And the key technologies. So this has plus five inventory slots, Caterium ingots, quick wire, power pole MK2, which actually has six connections off of it instead of four. Blade runners, which are pretty neat, an exoskeleton uh, for your lower legs that uh, assist your movement, allowing you to sprint faster and jump higher. Also damp dampness, the impact of landing, and then scanner updates the ore. So that's pretty cool. Let's choose that. I've already, oh, I forgot to grab my wire. Oh, great, I'm fired. I already grabbed everything but all the wire. <laughs> The wires over here though so it's not that big of a deal right we're good right everyone's good right we're everyone just calm down just calm down all right let's get over here let's put you in the hole and push the button Caterium acquisition unlocked additional to new equipment building and parts utilizing basic Caterium properties R and D insisted on inflating your pocket dimension. That's right. So now we have four full lines of inventory that which is super duper nice. I threw all the catering we got here. Uh, I'm not going to make that many. We'll do around 300. Let's do this on camera because I'm, I've gotten the hey, we'll be back it's too many times already. And this shouldn't take that long, right? And gets right here. And it's going along. Oh, it's a nice day outside. Beautiful. This, this going on, you know, all that stuff, you know, that's huh. Okay, we got 300 of the quick wires. I'm gonna go ahead and drop 100 in here to get the, this research going as well. Since we're already here, we got it, we have that. Let's pop you in here. Begin analysis. This is. And that's gonna take, wow, 23 minutes to do. That's fine though, I'm not really worried about that as much. Let's do some comparisons here though. What do I have in my inventory? I don't have enough for stuff. Let's grab some rods and some of these guys the rods is right there let's also grab some copper wire because i already had some but might as well grab more and then inside of here now in our power section we now have the power pole two it's power pole one there power pole two there and let's look at this here real quick in the nice lovely sunlights of lights so you can already see a visual difference in the heights next to each other so that is the difference there that is actually pretty nice visually and then you can also see once we get this guy here this shows zero six that shows one zero four so that is uh, i like that that's awesome and it is taller it gives a it's a different kind of model ish um which you can tell there's more there's a lot of good thought process put into this i think personally to you know just kind of make it seem more what's pretty funny though is that your little little uh right there those are those are a little bit smaller than right there those are this is kind of You'd figure these would be a little bit bigger, but I guess these are more advanced technologies made with the better ore to make it more capacity. Oh, we're only using the wire. I guess they're using that on a wrap. We'll pretend it's wrapping it. I don't have any cables on me. That is super cool, though. That is neat. I am 
pretty happy. Now, the why do we do all this now? Well, because as we start building our infrastructure, I want to make sure our main power lines going to places has that, has those lovely, we have this running to it so we can make more efficient um, power grid setups. Also, when we go on our little questing of searches and stuff like that, I do want to have the ability to, uh, well, we need to, I, I want to be as prepared as possible for whatever we're going to do. It's actually down here, isn't it? Isn't it a thing? I did, did uh, uh, let's check something. Blade runners right there. Okay, so we'll have these made too. It's only three rotors, three modular frames, and some quick wire. So, hmm, let's do that. Let's check those out real quick. We were here. We got them. We got the stuffs. It's not like it's that expensive. I'm down. There's two, and we'll grab one of these. And then we'll grab this, this, and this. That works a little, a little bit easier. And did I have the other stuff? Yeah, the quick wire was the other thing. Right, 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 right. Let's go over here. Let's grab that. Craft it. Blade Runners. We have Blade Runners now. Am I going faster? Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, baby. Wow. Oh, we don't see them, though. Okay, they're not on our. They don't have a character model for it. Let's do some testing then. Here we go. Wow, that was only a bar. I jumped up higher, probably about two foundations higher. Let's see how how high it actually goes for me. We we'll use this as our our test area. This is right here. We're gonna say this is half foundation high. I jump about a full foundation's height before I was jumping at half, so I should be able to get up here now. Wow. Very nice. Oh, that makes me happy. I can get rid of you guys now, too. Not that you were ugly, but you're ugly. That is really cool. So this will help do things. Now, we do have the ability to research a jetpack, but it's going to require, like, computers. And I, I'm, I'm cool with just having this, and then we get the baton unlocked and the, um, the rebar gun. Um, and then get some of the extra scanner stuff going, too. Did I, no, I meant to get rid of that. Yeah, sure. So uh, what I'm going to do before next episode is I'm going to get all that stuff researched and get it built. So that way we can go on a slugfest. I've been talking about slugfest for several. How many episodes now? All of them. I'm really happy about this. Let's see something right quick. Right. It's about the same. It just felt like it was faster for some reason. It is faster. It is faster. Very nice. So we don't even need ramps. These are silly ramps now because we can jump up heights, full foundation. Wow, I really like that a lot. Oh, that's so nice. So very nice. We will. Well, we could probably get on the ledge and then jump in. Nice. Oh my god. And we jump really far too. Holy crap! Mobility, mobility, mobility. Think about this. Well, the jetpack will probably take the same slot too. But still, I'm. That's pretty exciting. But yeah, I'll get all the research stuff done that I can to maximize our potential of our of our searches for things. Um, we'll be looking at uh, wrong area. We'll be looking at getting all the tier one stuff left open here, so we have the scanner nut and scanner mushroom there, and um, improved me melee combat is going to be a thing. So we'll have more five, five more inventory slots too with the Xeno Basher. I don't think we have anything else left to do there. The rest of the tiers are unlocked for the time being. So I, I'm excited. I'm excited about this. I'm looking forward to getting stuff done. And yeah, well, I mean, we got stuff done. This is a lot of off camera time. Hopefully you guys uh, understand what, what it took to get the like the, the mats made together to get all the stuff to be able to happen today. And I am oh, I am happy though that we have the hitterium unlocked too. So we have the better power poles and options and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. But either way, as always, guys, thank you so very much. And you all have a good night. Let's go. Uh oh.